tracks and have been getting our butts kicked today. We decided we'd come after those elk that I saw the other night. And usually there's a lot more elk in this area than there is this year, it seems like. But we've put on probably five miles today of straight up um, stuff. So it's been pretty uh, difficult. But we're kind of just working our way back down now. We have a this across over there and I wasn't sure that it was anything but this is what we got. Oh it's part white, maybe two years old. That's what we got, just a little rack. At least it's something. We're gonna keep working down. Jackson's back shortly, so we're gonna get off the mountain and call it a day. We might get we might stumble on something. Well, we're on our way back to the Jeep. And Caleb just came over the radio saying he found a small one. But I'm just kind of in hurry mode to get down to the Jeep. I've done something to my back. So, that's fun. But, uh, yeah, at least somebody found one today. Just as I thought the day couldn't get any worse, starting to snow on us here. <laughs> and I've about had it for the day. I don't know what I've done to my back, but it hurts. I can barely lift my legs, but apparently if you hike far enough, you'll stumble onto something. Whew. We've done it. Well, Jackson just came over the radio saying that he's got a brown five, big third. So, and he's just right below me. So, I'm just gonna work on down to him and see what he's got. Hopefully I can, hopefully we can maybe match it up. Maybe I'll match it up on the way down to him or something, but we'll see. Look at that. Let's see if I can get my arm in there for reference, but that's up to my elbow. Looks like it would have had a little crotch point there. It's got a little bloody base on it. Yeah, that's what we like. Walking up on Jackson's fine here. Chocolate brownie. That's what they look like. That is what they look like. Kind of forgot. Freaking third on that thing is like mega. Mega. Elbows deep. <laughs> That's crazy. Not a huge bull, but he's going to be big one day. That's nuts. Blood on the base. Hasn't been sitting here too long. Pick that thing up. Jeez. Dude, that third is that nuts. Thing, that is the weirdest thing. He's got some good fronts on it. Yeah, he does. His back end isn't huge right now, but it's going to be big one day. Yeah, it's got that little, little extra. It's been rubbing on it. <sighs> that third is so crazy. <laughs> bloody, bloody. Pretty sick. Sweet. We'll take it. Yep. See if we can't match it up. I just left Jackson five minutes ago backtracking, looking for the other side of that one he just picked up. And he comes back on the radio and says he's got another brown just down in this ravine. So I'm working back over there now. 
see if we can't match either of those up now because it's same side so a different bowl but it's brown so my luck has changed drastically just found another brown another left side looking for the side to this one and so on the way down there to get it and uh i think caleb's gonna come over but i walked probably 30 yards away from both of these this morning <laughs> it's crazy it makes you wonder how many how many antlers you walk by in one given hike just walking up to it right now looks like it shed right in its bed look at that pretty crazy i haven't found one shed in a bed yet so that's first for me but there's no little five brown pretty white burr on it maybe a little bit of blood sweet all right let's see what he's got oh this one's just laying right in its bed Sweet. Another chocolate brown. Nice. Not as heavy as the last one. Not as heavy. Got a little bit of blood. Yep. Sweet. Add another one. Add another one. Do some zigzags through this. Get stuff going down. And see if we can't. Match either of these up. Well, I just got loaded up with my five points and I have another one found. I'm hoping it's a match to one of these because that's kind of what we were looking for. But we're going to get down to it and check it out. I think it's the other side of the one I just picked up. That's what it looks like. Brownies on brownies, baby. Brownies today. Oh, my hell. Jackson's back is breaking. Yeah. It doesn't feel good. I know that. Nice. All right. I might drone him on a little. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Nice. Another one. Another brownie. fronts are identical nothing big but it's brown we've been getting our butts kicked today so we'll take anything at this point yep. but yeah very nice yeah better than nothing sweet just in this bush <laughs> oak brush, oak brush. <laughs> ravine Yes. All I'm trying to do right now is get back to the freaking Jeep. And I just can't. I keep finding antlers. Brown elk shits. It's crazy, because I walked right by this thing this morning. It's just another little guy, it looks like. But I'll take little guys all day long. I'm no freaking trophy chaser, but... Let's see. Jeez, this one's got super bloody base too. What the heck? I'll flip it around and show you guys. Here's what we're working with. This little guy. Nothing too special, that's for sure. Jeez, he's bled like crazy. Shedding that one, look at all that. Bloody base. Pretty cool. Usually I'd sit here and try to find this other side and circle but my back hurts as it is if i keep going it's just gonna hurt worse but that's a good that's a good hurt i guess but got caleb zigzagging that ravine that we were in where i found those three i kind of hit a group of trees and uh 
I seem to have walked right over that one this morning. My scout to hunt track, right over the marker I just placed. Apparently I wasn't looking hard enough, but all these antlers that I found, I was within 50 to 100 yards this morning. So, just tells you how close you can get to them without finding them. Well, we are back down in 